At the Eurovision Song Contest, you can enjoy many musical styles and genres. The mood of a song can also differ. Some artists go for extremely happy. Some go for dark. And some like to add a dramatic touch. A higher long note can make your song stand out from others. Of course, there are countless examples, but we would like to highlight a selection of some of the most memorable notes. In 2016, Calliope came back to the Eurovision Song Contest with her song Donna. She ended the song in a way only Calliope can. <laughs> Try it at home, if you dare. In 2012, she already showcased her vocal range with the song Sorno y Bello. In 2012, she reached the 13th place in the grand final. In 2016, she failed to qualify. To find a country that has shown particular interest in the high and long notes, we don't have to go far from Calliope's country, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. <laughs> Neighbouring Albania definitely had their share of memorable notes during the past years. A tradition that will be continued in 2017, when Lindita will represent the country. Swedish composer and musician Thomas Gisson worked on multiple Eurovision entries. Two of them, Quédate Conmigo in 2012 and Waterfall in 2013, had a very similar long note. There are countless examples of big notes. For example, equally as many high notes.
some notes didn't really work out on the night. Julian Ludwig really went on and off again with their high notes. On again, off again, like the red and the gray. We need to decide a prime and then to discard. Such wonderful times and then in natural highs. Love is a flame that we can never tame. On again, off again. And there are interesting notes, like this one from Azerbaijan. or the pitch change from Romania. And some notes even won the contest.